Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on lesson 7.2 in our math book. That is page 405. So if you're not there, pause and find page 405. Okay, today we are going to talk about less than. So the other day we talked about greater than, now today less than. So less than means fewer or a smaller amount, okay? So for example, if, if I had two and my friend had five, who would have, who would have less than or who would have less or fewer? I would, this two is less, right? You can see that there's only two, a lot less than five. Okay, so fewer, right? When we talk about less than, it means fewer or a smaller amount. All right, so we have our tens and ones chart. Just watch as I work on this, okay? And model it for you. Which number is less, 22 or 28? So we're gonna model that out. Here's the number 22. Okay, I have two tens, right, two tens, and I can draw that, two tens and two ones, right, so it's just like that, two tens, two ones. Here's the number 28. I have two tens and eight ones. So when we compare them, get this out, one, two, three, four, okay. When we compare them, just like when we compared greater than, first we look at our tens place. So here's a 10 and here's our 10. We have two tens and two tens. Look, two tens, two tens. Is that the same? It is. Look, they match, they're the same. So if our tens are the same, then we need to look at our ones, just like we did when we were trying to pick the bigger number, the greater number. We do the same thing when we're looking at our numbers and seeing which one is less than or the smaller number. We start with our tens. If they are the same, then we move over to look at our ones. Well, here's two ones and eight ones. Which one is less. So remember, we're looking for less today. What's less? Eight or two? Two is less. So 22 is less than 28. Okay. So we were looking to see which one is less today. Okay. So remember, you don't have to draw this out. I was just modeling it for you. Compare the numbers to find which is less. So today we're looking for less. So we have 43 and 49. Well, again, first we look at our tens place. Four tens and four tens, they're the same. So then we have to go on and look at our ones, three and nine. Which one has less? Three is less than nine. That's our less one. So then we write it. 43 is less than 49, right? 43 is less than, it's smaller than 49. Remember, our alligator eats the biggest number. So it's not going to eat 43 because 43 is less. It's going to eat 49. It's going to eat the bigger number. So let's take a look down here. Same thing that we saw the other day, except for this time, we are looking for the number that is less. Okay, so we're gonna look for the number that is less. We're gonna decide what helped us. Did the tens help us? Were they the same or were they different? Or did, the, did we have to look at the ones? Then we're going to write it in, okay? So let's look at the example they gave. Circle the number that is less. We have 39 and 36. Well, let's look at the tens place first. We always look at the tens first. Oh, three and three. They are the same. So now we have to look at the ones place. 
right, so now we're looking at the ones. Nine and six. Okay, which one has less? Is it nine or six? Six is less than nine, so we're gonna circle this one, okay? So six is less. So what did we use? Well, we couldn't use the tens because the tens were the same. Then we had to look at the ones. So the ones is what helped us decide this time because the tens were the same. Then they wrote it in for us. 36 is less than 39. Okay, 36 is less than 39. Remember, smaller number. The alligator needs to eat the biggest number, so it's turning its back on the small number. Okay, so the big number goes on this side where the alligator is. All right, let's look at this one. 80 and 94. So we look at the tens place first. Eight tens and nine tens. Hmm, which one is less? Eight or nine, which is less or the smaller number? Eight is the smaller number. So we're circling 80. It is less, the smaller number. What did we use? Well, we only had to use the tens, didn't we? Right, because they were different. So we stopped at the tens. Now we need to fill it in. Blank is less. Well, which one was less? 80. 80 is less than, what's our other number? 94. So then we fill this in. Which one does the alligator eat? The alligator eats the bigger number. So 94, right? It's getting eaten because it's the bigger one. And it's saying, nope, 80 is less. Don't want to eat it. All right, look at number three. 57, 54. Look at our tens place first. Five and five. Ooh, they are the same. So we can't look at those. Now we have to look at the ones. Okay, check out those ones. Seven, four. Which one is less? Four is less than seven. Four is the smaller number. Always think, what do I want to eat? What would I rather have? The bigger number or the smaller number? Right? What I want? Four cookies or seven cookies? Well, of course, I want seven. Seven's bigger. So four is smaller. What did I use? Did I use my tens or my ones? I used my ones. Tens were the same. So when I move to the next one, I've got to do the ones. Blank is less than blank. All right, which is the smaller number? 54 was the smaller number. 54 is less than 57. Seven's our other number. 54 is less than 57. Here's our alligator. Alligator eats the bigger one. So put the bigger one in there. That was the 57. The smaller number goes over here, 54. All right, my first graders. I'd like you to try four and five. Try these first two, okay? Pause. Hit play when you're ready. Again, you're looking for the number that is less. Less. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you answered this. You're ready to check your work. Let's see how you did. All right, 47, 48. 47 was less. The tens were the same. We checked our ones, okay? And seven was less, seven ones is less than eight ones. So we have to circle ones because the tens were the same. Then you fill it in. 47 is less than 48. And we write it over here. Alligator is eating the big number, turns its back on the small number. You need to pause to fix something you can. If not, I'm going on. 82 and 28. Eight. And two. Oh, two is 
definitely less. So 28 is less than 82. We looked at our tens because our tens were different. So we were able to stop there. Then we write it in. 28 is less than 82. The alligator's eating 82. It's turned in its back to 28. All right, my first graders, you're going to try six and seven now. Just hit play when you're ready to check. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you finished this. All right, 96 and 90. 90 was less. Less. Nine and nine are the same. Then you had six and zero. And of course, zero is smaller. We had a look at our ones because the tens were the same. So 90 is less than 96. Okay, alligator's eating 96. Turn in its back on 90 because it's less. 23, 32. Tens first, two tens, three tens. Oh, two tens is less. Two is less than three. We looked at our tens because they were different. And then we fill it in. 23 is less than 32. 23 and 32. Alligator's eating the bigger number. All right, if you need to pause to fix something, go ahead. If not, we're going to keep going. Ella has 22 beads. Lauren has fewer beads than Ella. How many beads might Lauren have? Okay, so... If Ella has 22 beads and Lauren has fewer beads than Ella, that means she has a smaller number of beads. So we need a smaller number than 22. Can you think of a number smaller than 22? There's lots of them, isn't there, right? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're all smaller. So when we're making a smaller number, we could even just have less tens, couldn't we? Right? Instead of two tens, what's a number less than two? One. One is less. So we could have one and then, hmm, could we give her zero ones? Yeah. Is 10 less than 22? It is. Really, my first graders, any number, here's our hundreds chart. Here's 22. Any number that is less than 22 would work. So here's 22 be a smaller number, okay? Any of those numbers would have been fine. Oh, not 24 <laughs> or 23. You need bigger hands. <laughs> All right. Nan makes the number 46. Marty makes the number, makes a number that is less than 46. What could be a number Marty makes? So boys and girls, I want you to think about that. 46. If if Marty, if Nan, uh, Nan, Nan makes 46 and Marty makes a number that is less than 46, there's a lot of choices that could be, right? So I want you to think, hmm, if it's less than 46, it could have a smaller amount of tens, right? Could have a smaller amount of ones. So boys and girls, I want you to think of an answer. I want you to put it in and I want you to ask a grown up to check your work. Okay. All right. So my first graders, any number that's less than 46. So your answer could be any number smaller than 46. So here's 46. It couldn't be any of these numbers. They're too big. It has to be a number smaller, okay? So that would be either less tens or less ones. I'm going to pick the number. I'm going to change the tens and make it a smaller amount of tens. So maybe 32, okay? It can be any number. So if you picked a number, have a grown-up check it for you. All right, Jack makes the number 92. Kit makes a number that has fewer ones than 92. What could be a number kit makes? All right, so Jack makes the number 92. So I'm going to show Jack. Here's 92. Kit makes a number that has few has fewer ones than 92. So if she has fewer ones, right? Here's our tens. 
here's our ones. What's a number that is fewer than two? What's smaller than two? You have two. What's the, how do you make that smaller? To put one away, right? Could we put one away? We could. So how many could she have for ones? She could have one one. So one one and how many tens? She keep that nine. It could be 91. If you'd like to watch math on the spot, you can. So Kit could have 91. She also could have 90, right? Because if you have two, two ones, a number less than two, it could be one, but it could be zero, right? Zero. All right. Write a number that is less than 67. How do you know your number is less than 67? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a number that's less than 67. And I want us to talk about why that number, how do we know that number is less than 67? So let me put 49. 49 is less than 67. Well, how do we know that's less than 67? When we're comparing numbers, what do we look at first? Yeah, we look at the tens place first. So you have four tens and six tens. How do you look at those numbers when you're comparing them? How do you know that that is less? Because four tens is less than, and boys and girls, you don't have to write this, six tens. So boys and girls, when somebody asks you, how do you know that something is less? You have to go through and tell them, how are you comparing them? And we know we look at the tens first, okay? I wanna show you a different example. What if my number wasn't 49? And boys and girls, again, you don't need to write all this. I would just want you to listen to it. What if I picked a different number? Instead of 49, what if I picked 60? two. How could we say that we, how do we know that 62 is less than 67? Well, think, what do we compare first? We compare the tens first. Six tens and six tens. Oh, they're the same. So then we'd have to compare the ones. Seven and two. <gasps> two is less. So we would tell somebody because two ones is less than seven ones. That is how we compare. So you're just telling somebody what you're looking at, okay? And what digit, right? If it's the 10 or the one that we're comparing. All right, boys and girls, you're gonna do some practice with your personal math trainer.